Welcome back to another video and boy do I have something pretty awesome for you guys and this is Luck and Coffee. Now pretty much we haven't really heard much about Luck and Coffee like if you search around the web if you dig around on Wall Street Bets or different Reddits you know subreddits whatever it is you probably can't find any news about Luck and Coffee because they were obviously kicked out from the Nasdaq and they're now listed on the OTC market, which is literally like the penny stocks and pink sheets. And if you watch Wolf of Wall Street before, you probably have heard a lot of terms in the movie like pink sheets or penny stocks. This is where it's listed. OTC markets are literally the Wild West. And unlike the NASDAQ, where there's so many different regulations and there's so many like police in quotation marks, the OTC markets are literally just, there's no regulation. Like everyone just runs around and they do whatever they want. And it's really crazy. There's a lot of pump and dumps and it's just like a really, you know, scary place. Like it's not really a place where you want to put your retirement fund in. So right now, Luck and Coffee, we're back. Currently, they're doing pretty well, honestly. A lot of people are buying into Luck and Coffee lately, even though it's totally just kicked out from the NASDAQ. If you have shares of Luck and Coffee on Robinhood or Weeble, you obviously can only sell them. You can't buy them from Robinhood or Weeble because they only have stocks available from the NASDAQ. If you want to get Luck and Coffee stocks, then you have to open an account with the OTC markets. And it's really crazy here. Like these companies are like pretty much penny stocks here and there. And once you get kicked out from the NASDAQ or you get listed on the OTC market, your overall ticker name becomes super long. Remember how Luck and Coffee's ticker name was literally just LK? Now it's LK NCY. So it gets even longer, a super long name. But on top of that, you don't really have like the status of being like a NASDAQ company anymore. You're now part of like the crazy wild west with all the other junk companies out there. But the thing about Luck and Coffee is it's not really like a junk company. Now, a lot of companies on the OTC market, not gonna lie, they frankly kind of suck. But with Luck and Coffee, on the other hand, they're a well-established coffee brand with a bunch of different locations. And a lot of people say the coffees are pretty tasty. So it's kind of hard to say. And guess what? There's more Luck and Coffee stores in China than Starbucks. And the whole reason why they're even in the OTC market isn't because of like their coffee's bad or their business model is really bad, but because of fraud. If you guys don't remember this, pretty much Luck and Coffee pulled off like a really big fraud action. So, so pretty much they were falsely reported like sales. Let's say, for example, they reported five cups of coffee sold, but in fact, it was only three cups of coffee. It was hugely inflated. It was really controversial. It even captured the attention of China themselves. And pretty much ever since this incident, it's getting a lot of backlash. A lot of people are saying that you shouldn't really be listing Chinese companies on the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ, New York Stock Exchange, they're all taking like really big precautions now with Chinese companies. And this also like took down a lot of the status of a lot of Chinese company brands on the New York Stock Exchange, for example. But let's talk about Luck and Coffee and how the overall stock is honestly doing. So remember how back then it was pretty much listed on the OTC market? Yeah, it pretty much hurts. But of course, it was doing really good. Like it was gaining about 181% in the penny stock markets. It went from like just a couple bucks to all the way up to like $4.33 and now has dropped down to like $3.07. Now, I'm not saying I should buy it, but this is just like a small little news piece of what's going to be the future of Luck and Coffee. This is kind of like an epilogue. You know, the main store was on like the NASDAQ. Now, since they're kicked out, they're currently in the, you know, the OTC market, the pink sheets, the penny stocks. And let's just see what there's, you know, what's going on and how are they going to fare with this really crazy market. So obviously, if you go on like Robinhood and you try to type in LK, nothing's going to, you know, pop up. Like the closest thing we get is LKQ, and I don't even know what this is. Apparently, they repair automobiles, so that's not it. So if you want to get it, you got to go to the OTC market. And currently, Luck and Coffee, there's a few outcomes here, and none of them are really good. Occasionally, there's some here and there, but there are some major news for Luck and Coffee. Some of them could actually spark investor confidence. So one of the biggest things for a lot of these companies that get delisted and they're in the OTC markets. And when you're in the penny stock markets, your valuations obviously are not very high. I mean, $3 a share compared to $40 a share back then, you kind of see the difference. Like Luck and Coffee is such a small company by valuation. So it's pretty bad. So you can see there's several different things that could happen. For example, Chiho360, I hope I said that right. It's a Chinese internet security firm 
And shares of this company in the US, like Luck and Coffee, initially soared. Like it did really well. It went up. Investors started buying in, but it crashed a lot because a bunch of sellers were like, uh, what's going on with the overall company? Is it good? Like we're getting a little bit, you know scary here like things aren't really going so good for this company there's some questions needed to be asked and afterwards it got really bad like the stock just absolutely just dropped and eventually the founders of this company just straight up bought the stock for nine billion dollars in 2016 pretty much they spent nine billion bucks they took it private removes it from the u.s market and guess what two years later than online in 2018 with all this fraud crap out of the way they relisted their stock on the Chinese Shanghai Stock Exchange, which recently has been doing pretty good. It's been more stable than ever before. And the valuation is $60 billion market cap. So you kind of get the idea. If Luck and Coffee feels like their market cap is just way too low for the amount of stuff they're doing because they're listening on the pink sheets and kicked out of the NASDAQ gang, they honestly might just take things public, I mean private, and just say like, goodbye we're leaving and they're going to be probably be listing this on the hong kong stock exchange which is having some trouble with or the shanghai stock exchange like they'll be listing it somewhere else for a much higher valuation and things are really getting kind of frisky for luck and coffee especially how people are saying that they could go private with some hedge funds some banks saying the same exact thing and yeah this is going to be a pretty bad deal for luck and coffee because so far i mean their stocks have been doing okay i mean it's going up and down i guess you could say it's a day trader's dream but i really wouldn't really invest in luck and coffee especially how this is a company that literally got kicked off because of fraud and now it's not really looking so good and currently one of the most recent pieces of news was the former luck and coffee chairman was literally kicked out of his own company luck and coffee so if you check out all the other news articles right here like the hottest news articles right now is obviously the ceo you know the ex-ceo i guess or the founder they're kicked out and now they're naming a new ceo this is pretty good news honestly it will be kind of scary if lou is still the chairman of luck and coffee because you know he did do a lot of this fraud stuff which really screwed up luck and coffee screwed up a lot of people like there was this one wall street bets guy that had like a quarter million dollars in luck and coffee and he only had like 10 grand left if he's still holding on luck and coffee those will it'll probably be like five six thousand dollars it's super painful it ruined a lot of people's lives and now there's a brand new ceo in town and let's see how he does so if you guys want to do a really big gamble a really big bet let's not buy scratch offs or lottery tickets if you have about like a thousand dollars to blow and you don't really care what happens to that one thousand dollars you may actually consider buying some shares of luck and coffee who knows maybe if they do a good job after a couple years they may go back into the nasdaq if they raise enough capital because currently the market cap is 780 million dollars which is absolute crap and after all this fraud allegations we may be seeing some new leadership and some fresh blood and luck and coffee that will definitely make the stock go up so currently luck and coffee is considered one of like the greatest you know stock nightmares ever because there's so many individuals that bought luck and coffee at like 10 20 30 40 dollars like they bought in they held on to the overall company because they believed in company now keep in mind that luck and coffee like if you just take like the stock aside if you just look at the overall company it's not a bad company like they have 4,500 stores in china they have more stores in china than starbucks stores and they're a pretty decent coffee house chain and the like the speed of expansion that luck and coffee had was super fast like 2017 to 2020 in the span of three years they've expanded faster than starbucks which was in china for several years you get the idea luck and coffee even though they did some pretty fraud pretty bad stuff you know they maybe even manipulate the stock a little bit i don't know but fundamentally, they're a pretty decent company. I read some of the reviews for Luck and Coffee. It's not super great, but people still really like it because it was a pretty decent company. I really do feel like Luck and Coffee, if they have good leadership, if they fix all this fraud stuff, if they give more confidence to the investors, they might actually be seeing a really, really good return. Keep in mind that Luck and Coffee is one of those companies that could companies that could definitely make you broke. If you guys feel comfortable maybe buying two hundred dollars worth of Luck and Coffee. Who knows, $200 may one day become $2,000. Who knows, maybe $3, it will re eventually recover back to maybe $30. But just to keep in mind, 
that the major institutional investors have already pulled their money from Luck and Coffee. And when they did that, Luck and Coffee did experience a lot of shutdown for their stores. So that is pretty bad. But of course, currently, if you look at like the OTC markets, it's kind of iffy. Highly do not recommend buying Luck and Coffee. But if you're really wanting a lottery ticket play, which means you're fine if the money just burns in a trash can, then I guess you consider buying some Luck and Coffee shares if you want to. It's a little bit dangerous. You're pretty much betting on the future, what the leadership is. You're also betting that it won't go private. Remember, if Luck and Coffee wants to just absolutely leave the US markets and just go to China, your shares are kind of just screwed. Like they're not going to be worth anything. And keep in mind that it's Luck and Coffee right now, the stocks are not held by major institutional investors. They're being held by regular retail traders, which have a very, very small amount of power in trying to keep Luck and Coffee here. Because if a major institutional investor, for example, like Berkshire Hathaway, which I know they won't invest in this, but let's just, for example, Berkshire Hathaway invests in Luck and Coffee, Luck and Coffee wants to leave, Berkshire Hathaway will do all in their power to prevent that from happening, to prevent their shares from just going poof. So you get the idea. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Comment below. I mean, this is a really crazy story for Luck and Coffee. And who knows? Let's see what's going to happen in the next few months. I will be making an update video about this company and let you see. I mean, it's really crazy. Like, it got listed on NASDAQ, did really well. Everyone's hyped up for this coffee chain, hit almost 50 bucks. It dropped because of the pandemic and it dropped to an absolute penny stock because of fraud kicked out the NASDAQ, now they're chilling in the OTC markets, and there's also rumors of it going private. What an adventure Luckin' Coffee is in. That's about it.